Good morning. All right, so today I wanted to uh, do an unboxing, a review, and basically a demonstration of the Dr. Odick Beginner Metal Detector, the MT9S. And this is for children. So I wanted uh, to show you guys this just because um, if you're into metal detecting, what better to give the gift of metal detecting to a child? So this is uh, actually for younger kids, probably younger than 12, maybe I'd say about 10 and under. But a 12-year-old um, could probably play with it too. As a matter of fact, um, even an adult can use it um, if you're short. So if you're like me, like five foot four, five foot three, you could probably get away with it. All right, so let's unbox it and see what's inside. All right, so before I uh, use my cutting device to open this, the panel is uh, pretty cool, but I'll show you that in a minute when I build it. So uh, this is really cute for kids. Um, it has uh, three touch buttons. So we have a power button, of course. We have a mode, which is uh, including discrimination and pinpoint. It's very, very easy and simple for a kid to operate. It has a three level volume, three color LED indicator, red, blue, and green. And that's uh, pretty cool for especially a, a child. Um, you don't want anything complex and hard for them to use. We have a 190 millimeter octagonal waterproof search coil. So the coil is even shaped like an octagon. 18 centimeter sensitivity. Um, I don't know the difference between centimeters and inches as I'm an American, so I'll have to look that up in a minute. Um, requires a 9-volt alkaline battery, and it's included. Now, when I was a kid, batteries were never included. So uh, already Dr. Odick gets uh, points for the hat. So um, this uh, actually is a brand that I've, uh, I have quite a few of their products. I have their MT, um, oh my goodness, um, I can't even think right now. My brain is a little fuzzy. But I have their um, adult pro um, beginners metal detector, and it's the MTX, I believe. The MTXR, yes. Okay, my memory is slowly coming back to me. And already, let's see what we got. I also have their pinpointer. I have their shovel. I have their duffel bag. Um, pretty much, I love Dr. Odick's products. I'm not going to lie, and I'm not being paid to say that. I will tell you that right now. Um, they are not paying me to say that. Um, but um, I did have a problem with one of their metal detectors. Um, I contacted them within, I'm not kidding you, within like an hour or two, they got right back to me and they solved my issue. And ever since then, I've been a huge fan of their products. Okay, so it comes, oh wow, it comes with a digging bag. That is actually really, really nice. It's nicer than <laughs> some of the digging bags that I paid at least $25 or $30 for. So this goes around your waist. This could be good for an adult, too. Um, if this was my kid that got this metal det uh, detector, I would actually steal this bag from them. You can put your shovel, your pinpointers, and your tools actually in these little uh, uh, loops here. Uh, really, really nice. Wow, I'm surprised. All right, next. Let's see what we got. So I think we have an instruction manual right here with the battery. Very good. Always read your instruction manual. And I shouldn't be preaching to the choir because nine times out of 10, I'm one of those people that don't do that. Oh, even better. They give you, and I didn't even know this was included. They give you a digging shovel. And this is pretty nice. It's uh, also, it tells you how many inches and centimeters. And uh, there you go. Nice, very, very, very nice. Uh, so this is getting a kid started out right away. And so they don't have to borrow your supplies if you're already a metal detectorist. And what do we got here? <laughs> a sand sifter. Uh, so if they go to the beach along with you, metal detecting, they can actually sift through the uh, whatever target they found right here. And none of my metal detectors ever came with one of these. All right, next. Um, let me pull out the detector out of the box. And there we go. So it's not built. It'll probably take all of about five minutes to build. And let me build it, and we'll go over it and uh, look at the functions and the features and the demonstration. All right, so I got it out of the baggie. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys really quick. So this is what the panel looks like, and it pivots um, so a, a child can uh, move it around uh, to their liking. This is the octagonal uh, coil, and I'll show you underneath it as well. There you go. All right, and this is the part where you put the 9-volt battery in. Even uh, simple enough for a kid to uh, do, actually, as I'm looking. All right, so you're going to need a Phillips head. It's not as simple for a kid. Okay, but that's actually a good thing. And the reason why they did that 
my guesstimate is because a kid could swallow the battery. So if you have a four-year-old or a three-year-old using this, they might, you know, chomp on the battery and get poisoned to death. And uh, that's smart. Okay, so here's the handle. So basically, you get that Phillips head screwdriver out, put the battery in, the 9 volt that they gave you. And then just uh, stick the handle right in here and bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to go. All right, I'm going to do that and I'll be back. This is absolutely adorable and I have adjusted I have it adjusted right now to the longest length it can go But um, if you have a smaller child um, You can actually um, Adjust the arm or the rod going up and down here. So that's no problem whatsoever. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on and Here we go. Here's the power and by the way this can pivot depending on the child's height for visibility and let's turn it on Okay, so it's on right now and um, you can actually uh, make it uh, go into silent mode as well but uh, let's press the volume so if you press it once it starts out in low volume you press it again and then it'll go into a, a higher level and you press it again and it quiets it so you just press it again okay so now you can also go into uh, pinpoint mode which is great um, and discrimination mode so when you press the discrimination mode, it uh, shuts off the flashing. You press it again. Now we're back on. And then when you want to do pinpoint, you hold down the button to pinpoint. So let's uh, check it out. We're going to try a bunch of different coins and see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what the colors mean. So red flashing really fast means iron. Um, green flashing really pass, uh, fast means nickel and pull tabs. And blue flashing really fast means uh, metals containing like silver and stuff. Now, um, when you don't see, like if you see a color flashing very slowly, that means there's nothing there. But if you see it flashing fast um, or not flashing at all, there's nothing there. All right, so we're going to start with a 1916 World War I iron metal. So now we're in the bright daylight. And you probably will not notice the red color because I can see it, but... Now there's the... Now this is actually blackened, blackened iron mixed with steel. So see how it goes red? You really can't see it very well. Here's a quarter. And it's blue. I see it as blue. You guys probably can't see it because the sun is actually beating down on me right now. And it's working pretty well. So we got blue. Now we're going to go over to a dime. And it's right here. So I see it as blue. I don't know if you can see it as only white because of the sun. But there you go. I see it with the naked eye, no problem, as blue. Here's a nickel. And I see it as green. And it actually picks up pretty well. I, I'm really in shock here. Here's a penny. And it's showing as green for me. And uh, really, that's amazing. Let's try the pinpoint. All right, we're right over the penny. And it's even showing us the right color. All right, so let's press that again. All right, now we're out of that mode. Let's go back into regular detecting. I don't know if you can see that green, but I see it as plain as day. All right, let's go and pinpoint this nickel here. All right, so I'm gonna hold down this button a second. All right, now we're in pinpoint mode. And you can hear it makes a special tone for that. Let me just raise the volume. There we go. See, it goes wild right when you're over the center of that coin. Huh, that's cool, let's go to a dime. I move it away, it goes away. I'm right on that dime, it's back. I move it away, and there we go. Right in the center of the bullseye. All right, let's go to a quarter. Pretty cool. All right, now 
Um, let's go back into regular detecting mode again. We have our blackened iron, 1916 German war metal. And you can see it is showing us iron. There we go. And a little bit of steel because that's what's in there. And let's go to pinpoint. We're going to hold down that button. Right there, right over the center of the bullseye. All right, so let me just turn this off. What is my verdict? This thing, I wanna play with it. I actually wanna take it out detecting. It is that easy, it is that simple. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to operate this. Um, I'm not kidding you, probably a three-year-old would have no problem with this, uh, nor would a 10-year-old or a five-year-old or even a 48-year-old like me. Um, this is absolutely astounding astounding i had to admit and i'm not just saying that they are not paying me to say that i am saying this this is uh from personal uh you know personal experience of trying out over 20 different metal detectors this was actually joyous and fun so if you have a kid a nephew a niece um a son a daughter um a small child that you want to gift this to this would be a great present for a birthday or christmas um you know holiday present, um, Hanukkah, whatever you want to call it. Um, this would be great, especially if you're a metal detectorist and you want to bring a kid along with you on your adventures, or you just have a curious kid that would, uh, you know, like to, uh, go in the yard and plunk around or maybe at the beach, uh, find some coins and some relics. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this uh, two thumbs up. I highly recommend it. There'll be a link for it below in my description. This was fantastic. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon.